So if you shoot with a gimbal all the time like me, and you're looking for ways to mount more accessories to it, this video is for you. What's up guys, this is AO with AOJ or Photography and Video. I'm a wedding videographer and content creator. We're gonna be looking at the digital photo ring grip for the RS2 and RS3 gimbals. Now with the included base plate, you can mount other single handle gimbals to it, but this particular ring grip comes with a power supply that mounts directly to your RS2 and your RS3 Pro gimbals. So what's in the bag? You're gonna get a top handle, a bottom handle, two rubber grips, you're gonna get a RA rosette, you're gonna get a V-mount clamp to mount a V-mount battery to the ring. You're also gonna get a two-pin Limo cable, and then you're gonna get the DGI, the RS2 to RS3 power supply, and a quick release. All right, let's go ahead and build it up. So I already got the feet and the quick release base plate onto the ring. So you're gonna just take the handle, and the handles are the same. You're gonna just put them on and twist them to the right to tighten them up. You're gonna to wanna to grab the top handle and just put that on. And then turn these to the right as well. You wanna take the power supply that's made for the RS2 and the RS3 gimbals and mount that to the bottom of your gimbal. Now you just wanna take the gimbal and slide it into the base plate. And tighten that up. It also comes with a support bracket. You're gonna mount this to the natal rail of the gimbal and then you're gonna screw this into the power supply. Next, we're gonna mount the V-mount clamp. We're gonna power the whole system up with this Yin Cam 99 watt hour V-mount battery. Now, I really like this battery because it's small, lightweight, and compact, so it doesn't add a lot of weight to your ring setup. Now to give the gimbal some power, you wanna connect the D-tap to the two pin limo cable. This is a RA rosette bracket. I'm gonna screw this onto the side of the ring. If you have the small rig wireless handle or the DJI wireless handle, you can slide that on right here and that's gonna allow you to control the gimbal. So I filmed the yoga shoot the other day with this ring grip. After shooting with it, I reconfigured the gimbal a little bit to make everything work a little bit easier for me. I got these adapters that mount to the ring grip and it has a built-in hot shoe. This is gonna allow me to mount different accessories to the grip. So the first thing I added was a top handle. So this clamp literally just clamps on top and then you're gonna screw it in. I also mounted this little ring here and that's for my hook vest, but that'll be in another video. Now, another thing that I did was I added a hot shoe to the front of this handle and that's gonna allow me to mount my Zoom F3 recorder. This is gonna give me 32-bit flow audio. I'm gonna mount my Rode Video Go 2 right to the top handle as well. I'm actually not gonna plug that into the camera. I'm gonna plug that into my 32-bit audio recorder. I'm using the Raven now that comes with my RS3 Pro combo kit. And so I don't have to mount any wires to this. I'm actually just gonna use that Ronin app to get a live feed from my camera. Now on this setup, I have this small rig monitor mount, and that's gonna allow me to adjust the angle of viewing on my phone. With this setup having this V-mount battery, this Yen Cam battery has two USB-A ports, and I'm gonna use that to power up my Sony camera. Let's power the gimbal up. Now this setup could get a little bit heavy. I'm using a Tamron 35 to 150, and it's a massive lens. And I typically won't use that on a single pistol grip style gimbal because it's really heavy. But with me having two hands to hold this, it's gonna make it a lot easier to manage. And if I add my hook vest to the setup, it's gonna take all the weight off my arms. So who is this ring for? If you wanna mount accessories to your gimbal, like a monitor, audio recorder, a microphone, if you wanna use heavier lenses like the Tamron 35 to 150 or even a matte box. If you wanna build your rig up and still get smooth tracking shots, this ring grip is for you. I don't know, like um, after using the ring grip, it gave me those Ronin M vibes. Like the Ronin M was really one of my favorite gimbals. It was just hard to put it down without having to stand. So that's why I went to the single handed gimbal. But with this ring grip having feet and having those two hands, it just felt really good. I was shooting some shots at 100 millimeters and it was still smooth. I really couldn't believe it. If you wanna power your camera and the gimbal with a V-mount battery, this is a perfect solution for you. With this Yan Cam 99 watt hour V-mount battery, it's small, light, and compact. Your camera and gimbal will literally run all day off of this small V-mount battery. Now, who is this gimbal not for? The first thing I noticed was when I wanted to get like low to the ground shots and point the gimbal up. I had to hold the gimbal with one hand and adjust the angle of the gimbal with my other hand. Now having a hook vest will make that easier or having that wireless handle will make that a lot easier. But this ring grip doesn't come with that wireless handle. So that is an additional purchase. I think you can get the small rig one for $159.99. 
or you can get the DJI one for like 350. Now with the DJI one, if you're running that focus motor, like I have here on my gimbal, that has the wheel on the front of the handle that's gonna allow you to either control focus or your zoom on your lens. Now, the small handle is nice and it comes in at a price tag of 159. You can adjust the angle of your gimbal, you can do stop and start recording, but it does not have that front dial that's gonna control your focus mode. Now, one thing that I did to combat not having that wireless handle is I actually put it in pan tip follow mode. I typically use pan follow. But since I didn't have that wireless handle, I used pan tilt follow, I was able to tip the gimbal up to get that angle I wanted. Now there is another solution to that problem. The DJI RS2 and RS3 gimbals have a push mode and that allows you to just grab the camera and put it in the angle you want. That would be another alternative if you don't have that wireless handle and you like changing the angle of the gimbal. Now I will be doing a follow up video to this using the digital photo hooked vest with this ring grip. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications so you don't miss out on that next video.